So today we're going to do a hair tutorial because I've had lots of you asking about how I get my hair and how it looks. I've got my beautiful Lila who does my hair and makeup from Salon 525 and she's going to show you how we do my day look. I've grown it a bit longer so it is a little bit different from the beginning of uh, season two of The Housewives and then we'll show you later a nighttime look. So I think Lila we should uh, get it started. <laughs> so Lila. How do we start? First we would use some volumizing mousse because we still want to get a little bit of root lift even though your cheek has got really thick hair yep. we still want to get some air in it. Always got to have it looking thick don't we? Absolutely. <laughs> and I also think too you can't be scared can you of how much you put in because I think people get scared and don't put as much as they really need. Exactly and you have to spread it all the way through the hair not just plonk it in one spot which a lot of people do. So massage it all through your hands and get it all throughout the hair and uh, smooth out all the edges. Perfect. So we were about the brush you're using. Okay. I always like to use a ceramic or an ionic brush. Basically that means we're going to get more shine in the hair. Is that what your ceramic does? Yes, exactly. Okay. And it can dust the heat better. Look, the size, depending on your what you want to achieve, but the size should be enough that you can fit the hair right around it and it feels comfortable in your hand. Mm -hmm. If we want to achieve more curl, we go a smaller size. If we want to straighten, we go a larger size. So I use just a medium size on your shorter hair. Okay. So now that we're coming to the front, I'm blow drying it more down with your new look of you know being a little bit shorter and going a little more casual. So we blow dry when we come to the front, we blow dry this down and across and get it a bit smoother. Okay. Even though we're wearing the hair flatter and more across to the side, we're still going to blow dry it back because we still want a bit of air in the hair and we want it to have nice natural movement. Cowlick, how do we get rid of that? Well, we generally go the opposite way to the cowlick. So I'll bring it, even though we're wearing the hair, over to this side. We'll bring it back the other way, get the brush right in at the roots and pull it in the other direction a few times. And that will just help get rid of the kink and then it will just sit, you know, the way it's meant to. Yeah. It's a tough one. So now that you've finished blow drying my hair and it's all straight, now we're going to go on to finishing products. We use an extreme hold um, matte wax to hold those sides in nice and tight and give the hair a bit of texture. And then I use a, a hair treatment serum to give it a really nice shiny gloss. And we have help with this little bit? Trusted hairspray. Oh, <laughs> we go through a lot of that hairspray. <laughs> we do. <laughs> But does this serum help with the little bits that are broken It'll help off? with the flyaways, it will help with the, just getting a really nice glossy, healthy finish on the hair. Because I think the thing is too, I get my hair blow dried so much, yeah. that sometimes it looks a bit um, dry. Yeah. And so, so that sort of puts some life back into it. Puts some life back into it. And it's also important to achieve good hair, to look after your hair. Good shampoos, good conditioners, conditioning treatments, which we often do for you. So, you know, then you've got the best hair possible. To style. How often do you think you should do a conditioning treatment? Look, I think depending on your hair, but I think even once a week yep. to once a fortnight if your hair's only you know more on the oily side. But if your hair is dry, once a week, a good conditioning mask will really help keep it from getting too split and too dry looking. And does it matter how long it's on your hair for? Like you know some of them are like five minutes and yeah, others. Look, longer. I think it's important to follow the instructions because a lot of products are they do differ in their approach. So I think it's always best to read the manufacturer's instructions or be guided by your hairstylist okay. and use it accordingly. We've got the matte wax that's gonna hold our sides back in really tightly. Miss Chica's hair's quite thick and wants to sort of curl around, so it's just gonna tame it right down. And also too, now that I'm growing my sides out, I feel like it's getting it's harder to keep down. So this is the best. Yeah. I actually get asked this question all the time, what do you use? That one's the Osmo Matte Clay Wax, I think it's called, or a clay, Matte Clay Extreme. It also helps with keeping some body on the top lengths too, so not only for keeping the sides in, but also for adding texture and a little bit of body. See, I think people top. get scared of doing what you've just done then, like putting it on their hands when it's yeah. already dry and then the fake might overdo it or but I think if it's spread it through your hands really well and you approach it from all over the head, you're not just getting it in the one area. Don't be afraid. Or, or add a little bit at a time until you feel you've got the right amount um, to get the hair to do what it is you want it to do. Perfect. And I'm so not afraid of hairspray. I always say to Lila, put more hairspray on. Well, especially on your long filming days, you know, Correct. filming for 10 or 12 hours, it needs to last. 
there we have it. Perfect.